What's up, guys? It's Caliber here. And the Beast. And I have Tarot. And Tarot has something she wants to show. She does. Yeah, it comes with a story and some warning and, you know, all that fun thing. I'm going to get to that Um, now I can't see. Um. Ooh, interesting. You know what it reminds me of? What does that remind you of? A Ra well, it reminds me of a condom. No, the way it's shaped kind of reminds me of a rattlesnake rattle. Yes, it does. Uh, or a scorpion. I mean, no, just, just when it does this, it reminds me of a rib condom. And now it broke. Anyway, um... You guys some very weird shaped people. <laughs> uh, is this just pronounced as this letters, or does it make some kind of weird, weird word? It's, um, I think it's I woo. I woo. I woo. I woo. I woo. I don't fucking know. And this is a pod system, and if you have been around for a while, you know I don't use nicotine. So I guess the question is why do I have a pod system? Um, my idiot friend bought it off of AliExpress, and I don't call him so much an idiot for buying off of AliExpress, but I'm ta I want to talk about that for a minute, that he wasn't even buying it for him, he was buying it for, um, one of his girlfriends. <laughs> and, um, he had no idea what he was looking for. <laughs> he just kind of picked something made it rainbow, and bought it. So he didn't know that, you know, this takes a special kind of juice and that it doesn't have any buttons on it and that it that it could be a clone. I honestly have no idea if it is or not. Um, they don't have one from the eLeaf website. But here, here's the fucking thing about AliExpress, and I ended up talking to him about it because he spent about, after shipping, he spent about $50 Canadian on this from AliExpress. Now AliExpress and Wish are typically known for, you know, having cheaper things of regular things. But if you pull up the thingies, oh, yeah. why are you just sitting there? <laughs> Alright, so I actually have, she sent me three different websites that carry this specific product. The first one is one of the one of the I don't use them. Like, I never ordered anything from them. But for a lot of my prices, I do go to this site because a lot of people recommend Element Vape. But um, the other one is obviously AliExpress and then eLeaf World. So if we take a look at Element Vape, it is it was twenty nine ninety five, so thirty dollars. I guess they marked it down to eighteen ninety five or. I notice a lot of sites do that. They'll be like, oh, they'll have one price that's fucking marked out. And it'll be like, oh, well, this is eighteen ninety five, Okay. And then, moving off the ladder, you have AliExpress, which is actually charging more for it instead of less. Which is really odd to me, because, honestly, I'm going to say this right now, AliExpress and Wish are known for clones. Yeah. So, this one's, this one's really hard to grasp on, if it's a clone or not, because of the price. And then e leaf is twenty two thirty two to twenty six fifty six. So when I was talking to him, he told me the reason and for the record, the shipping took so long on AliExpress that his relationship with that girl no longer exists, so that's why I have it. Uh, cause he'll never use it. He used it once as a fuck you to his ex, but um we were talking about it and it, it took three months to get to him, and which outlived his relationship. Shocker. <laughs> and um, yeah, it was about fifty dollars Canadian. And the reason he bought it from there is because he he thought it would have been cheaper because he like went into a vape shop with her and she wanted a like a tea crib or something, and it was obviously more than fifty dollars. He's like, no, I'll order you one online. So, you know, he, he's on AliExpress and he has no idea what he's doing. And these things don't exactly 
actually, hilariously, in the instructions, like I said, this, this might be a clone, so it might actually be in the real instructions, if these aren't the real instructions. It says nothing about using Nick Salt in this. It doesn't say it on the listing. It says it on the eLeaf website, but it doesn't say it on the box. Or anything like that. So, it's not very clear as to what you're supposed to use in this. So he would have handed it to this, this chick, and she would have just dumped regular e-juice into it, which kind of works. This has regular, really thin e-juice. This is the e-juice, then it wears the little bubble. You're not going to see that. But it's, it's relatively thin. Yeah. It's uh, probably about um, a 70-30. That's typically that's like... Well, typically, uh, with um, with most Aegis manufacturers, I know Wally, for a fact, is uh, a 70-30. And typically, like, those little bottle of juices like that are intended for, like, these pod-style systems. So, the max you want to put in there is a 70-30. There is no way this is intended for a pod-style system because this is older than a pod-style system. Well, it's... Like, this is pre when they would put expiry dates on it. Yeah, um, those could be for, like, ego, sty ego style, or... That's for, I'm, I'm guaranteeing you right now, it's for a pen, because you... Yeah, and typically you... It was for, like, the really, really old pens with the tiny, tiny things. Yeah, the, the clear misers. Yeah, the clear misers. Um, yeah. but anything from a 50-50 to... A 70-30 is about what you want to use in a pod system. Like, I can get away with... This isn't necessarily a pod system. It uses coil heads. But I can get away with the 70-30 in this. And I think you can get... Because you, you had the boulder rock. What uh, Did you use a 70-30 in that? Beast. What did you say? Did you use the 70-30 in the boulder rock? I don't know. It was uh, all I know is it was uh, salt and nick. That's all it was. I it might be. It might actually be thinner than that. Then I don't know if that's a Canadian thing, but none of those bottles have their VG on them. Um, this one doesn't have its VG to PG ratio. It's it's certain ones that do. Like this one will say uh, max VG, and that's it. A lot of companies won't put them on there. But either way, um, I had a thicker one in this, which is still relatively thin. It, it has, it is cold here, so I yeah. hear that's a problem. But this one is a little harder to use now, which is why I put the thinner one in here. Yeah. Also, this is easier to use with the proper thing in it, but. I guess put it in the cover so that this doesn't fall off because you don't need the cover to use it. Well, here, here's the thing. I, I want to explain this real quick. Typically, it, it, the juice you put in there is in-house, right? No. Is it what your vape shop made or is it another juice? No, they're all... What what my vape shop made, I don't have on that shelf. Okay. Um, Most companies now, like unless it's for a pod system, most e-juices you'll find are typically a 70-30 a or an 80-20. And the reason for that being is a PG intolerance is actually, it's kind of common, but it's kind of rare at the same time. Yeah, um, if you don't know what you're doing when it comes to buying a vape, if you're buying one for somebody else or for yourself, uh, don't, don't just go to one vape shop, go to a couple and ask them questions. And if you're looking at one specific thing, one specific thing, like a pod or a tank or something like that, ask a whole bunch of different shops the same question. You'll, you'll seem like a pain in the ass, but they're kind of there to answer your questions and don't run off the word of one person. It's a lot of mods. Don't buy a mod on AliExpress. This is working fine, and I'm gonna give it to my sister. 
But, um, yeah, I never wanted a pod system. And now I want to fall into my lap. So you actually have reason to participate in Modmouth. Fight me. <laughs> um, yeah, just, <laughs> just follow her advice. Don't, don't buy... We'll talk about this here in a second, but um, don't buy stuff like this from AliExpress typically, or even Wish. It's just they're most of them are clones. Like, don't get me wrong, clones aren't bad. Like, certain clones aren't bad, but you have to look at the longevity of them. How long will they last before they break? And that's the question you have to ask yourself. Another thing with the internal battery uh, kits or all the ones like that, typically the cheaper there are, the shorter the battery the shorter the battery will last. So as over as it goes over time, Beast can actually can confirm this because he you have the uh, what is it the Ice Stick fifty watt. Uh, I have the Ice Stick fifty watt. I also have the Ice Stick uh, um, seventy. I think it is. Yeah, and one, I can't remember which one it was, but your battery no longer holds a charge. Oh, yeah. It, it, it totally is. It's, and just think, with internal clones that have an internal battery, it won't, it'll start losing its ability to hold a charge a like, lot you know, quicker. That's like, I used to have the MVP. And the MVP, too. Um, anything with an internal battery eventually just goes bad. That's you know, why anything with an external battery... It's always better because you can always exchange the battery source. Um, you know, I'll give pause one thing because I really can't see a way that it would happen. I can't see this auto firing unless it was failing. Uh, well, uh, it, it has to have an auto draw. That yeah, one that has to have that has to sense pressure. So yeah, it, auto draw systems they don't really have a lot of issue where they have auto fire a lot. Yeah. Um, I would say it doesn't happen, but it's more rare for that to happen. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Alright, so, <clears throat> as you guys see this, so there's, I'm not gonna, I, I'm just gonna tell you what exactly happened, but I'm not gonna, like, dive too down, because we still have another thing that I want to talk about, but, uh, this is the, what is this? This is the Visegos K3 by Sigeli. Now, I actually originally bought one for myself with the $100 I got for Christmas. Well, that ended up falling in the water. Because we have, like, where my grandfather parks, there's, like, a little fucking puddle right there that's filled with muddy-ass water. And it fell in there. So we are going to try one thing. We're, we're going to try and put it in a bag of rice and see how that exactly works out. But you'll have to wait till next week for that because I'm going to have to leave it in for a couple of days. So, But uh, I will say this. I absolutely love this little thing. It's light. It's the dual 18650. Uh, it's pretty much all composite. It's uh, I think it's, they said it's a rubber oil material, something like that. So it's it's really comfortable and really smooth in the hands. And it's kind of kind of reminds me of the classic Wismac shape. But there's that. Alright, so, we all know that I've dived into mechanical mods, right? Been there, done that. I t I don't use them anymore. One thing before you get into that whole thing, I want to tell you, like, how it sounds. Um, it sounds like uh, Sigeli. Sigeli. Right? Um, it sounds like their version of, like, of the Puma. Yeah. Is that, I mean, just putting it out there, it's, you know, the whole rubberized... This, it's a very fragile mod when it comes to, like, the elements or whatever, but, I mean, it's, it's a good mod. It's a good mod. It's definitely a great everyday carry mod. It's just not something oh, you'd yeah. really take on the job site. Right. What you want for the job site is the, uh, the Geek Vape Aegis. Oh, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Before I get on to mechanical mods real quick, I think this is... Because this mod is very fucking simple. Three clicks. It has... It has temperature... Car uh, let's see... Uh, stainless steel, Ni200, TCR, and titanium. 
Uh, temperature range 100 degrees Celsius, 300 degrees Celsius, or 200 to 570 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, 0.05 all the way up to 3 ohms, and that's um, voltage output. One, 1 volt to 7.5. I, I actually love when mods actually don't have a very low voltage cutoff. Or and a very low output voltage. I've seen some that are have a 4.2 voltage output and it's like well, that's not going to do anything for us. But um voltage input 6.4 to 8.4 that's pretty self-explanatory. But on the front, so it's three clicks to get into the the main menu where you can select between the variable wattage uh, TCR and all that. It says perfect for beginners, which is true. And great for vapors, which is also true. So I think that's a pretty good slogan that they put for this mod. But uh, let me uh, let me get my mechanical here. So the biggest thing I've noticed with mechanicals now, I haven't owned every single mechanical out there, just because when you get more into mechanicals, the prices start going up, especially if you go for like a tugboat or an FM mod or even a rig mod. Uh, it just, the price goes up. But the one thing I notice, and I'll, I'll grab one of my batteries here. There's two things I notice. One, they 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 uh, involve a lot of maintenance. You have to polish the contacts and everything, polish the inside of the button, and just polish everything that makes an electrical connection, right? Now, that's not a big deal. What is a big deal is venting on these. So obviously, when you when you put battery in mechanical, positive side goes up. Well, in this case, it would the way I'm holding it, it would be down, but it'd be up. Now there's a problem with that. Yes, this mod has little ventilation holes right here, but if you look, my battery, the battery rests I particularly use are so fucking tight. Give me a second. I got a, um, got a, um, do I have fucking thing welded itself? That's another problem with these is they can actually weld themselves shut. So give me a second. I got to find a pair of pliers here. Uh, will these work? We're about to find out. Oh, yeah, it's probably fine. Thank God I got that fucking little tool kit for uh, Christmas. There you go. Yeah, sometimes it happens. I've actually seen fucking. I one time I seen a um a tank weld itself do the fucking uh five ten. Just because of juice getting caked up and it, it, they couldn't get it off, he went pliers. I was like, well, damn. But if you look, the way my uh, battery wraps are, are, mm -hmm. they're a little, they're thicker than what they actually put on batteries from the factory. So if you look, mine get mine ha mine's a little tighter. So with me using these um these batteries, if say if it vents. It can't vent, then it turns into a pipe bomb. They should really design these in a way where, because this is a vent hole right here. See that little hole right there that goes all the way through? That's a little vent hole. Now, if the mod, like I said, can't vent, well, then ultimately it turns into a pipe bomb. And out of, I hate quoting all these stories. I, I really do. But out of all the stories we've seen, that involved a mechanical mod exploding. What happened? It blew the mod apart. And that is due to inadequate venting. Seriously, manufacturers, put venting on the top for crying out loud. So it doesn't turn into a pipe bomb. See, the uh, if you can find a uh, perfect mod for this to actually... Or perfect RDA for this, for something like this... Is an is a um, squonking RDA that has a protruding 510 
If you're running a uh, hybrid like this, this is a hybrid. Well, guess what? That little squonk pin, guess what it acts as? It acts as a vent hole. But, uh, I think that's it for the gripes. But uh, tell me what you guys think about this mod and tell me what you think about the, uh, the fucking woo. <laughs> the iwoo. Or tell us what you think about the iwoo, if you think it's a clone or not. We would really love to hear from you guys. I can't find that they made a clone for it so, so far. But... but typically, like, pod systems like that, like the Boulder Rock, because the Boulder Rock was, like, what, $13? Yeah, it was, like, isn't that range? Yeah. So I think with the cheaper ends, I think because they're so cheap, that sites like AliExpress and Wish and all that can actually afford to buy them and just sell the legit products. Oh yeah, absolutely. They probably I just mean, buy them in bulk. Let's be real; they all come from China anyway. Yeah. No matter how you look. Well, there is a few mod manufacturers out there that are American based. Yeah, but they still use Chinese parts. Yeah, Chinese. Chinese parts are, like, typically the best parts. They're cheaper, and, yeah. Unless you get, like, a mod who's from, like, Italy or something. Or one of those exotic countries. And they they man, uh, manufacture their own parts. Jay Hayes does a lot of videos on them. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh... Stay tuned until next week. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like down below. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe to S13 underscore the beast. And if you're into DDLG, don't forget to subscribe to Tarot Storm. Her name is Tarot Storm on YouTube. Anyways, guys, this is Storm Family signing out.